Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In this channel, I'm covering a variety of topics on communication skills, ranging from public speaking, social skills, emotional intelligence, and much more. Join the tribe by hitting that subscribe button right on below, hit that bell notification, and never miss another video again. In today's episode, we are entering the land of public speaking, and I'm gonna be talking about a mantra that you want to follow, especially when you have a speech coming up. Always show up early. During my time in Toastmasters, there were a couple of mental hooks that they would give us, especially when we had a speech coming up. One of the hooks was, walk on stage like you're excited to be there. A lot of speakers, what they do is, when they get their name called, they're dragging their feet on stage. In Toastmasters, one way that they combat you dragging your feet is that the audience, they will continue to clap until the speaker goes from point A to point B, the stage. So if the speaker is over here dragging their feet and walking very slowly, the audience cannot stop clapping. So they're clapping for a long time and the speaker will be alert. Oh wait, I'm walking really slow. So this will cause them to walk in an efficient way, like they want to be there. This is one mental hook. Another mental hook is dress up. I mean, don't be wearing uh, these dirty shirts with mustard stains on them. Dress up, showcase that you want to be there. You win people's eyes over before you win their minds over. So dress up. And the other mental hook is you always want to show up early. I recommend you show up at least 30 to 40 minutes early. The reason why is because there will be times that you have a great speech, but you have logistical issues. Certain speeches, it's hosted in this weird area where you have to pay for parking, then you have to walk from point A to the speech location, and it's far. You may even have to call an Uber for certain times. There was this one moment in Tampa where there was this big conference that was being held. And for you to park, you actually had to walk to this different garage, which was at least a 10 to 15 minute walk. Now, if you're wearing a suit, you don't want to walk for 15 minutes and there's sun shining on you because then you're going to get sweaty. So now you have to think, okay, well, let me call an Uber. But if I call an Uber, a lot of other people are probably doing the same thing. So I have to wait and I'm already running late. Okay, let me walk. You walk there, you're drenched, and now you have to give your speech. These are logistical issues. So whenever you have a speech coming up, the day before, what you want to do is you want to start going on Google Maps. You want to see how long it's going to take you to get from your place to the speech location. You want to add in at least 15 to 40 minutes, just in case there is a bad accident that happens. And this makes you more alert. Initially, you were thinking about leaving at 5.30, but now you're thinking about leaving at 4 to 4.15 ish. It's better to get there early and hover around the location than just show up late, okay? There's a lot of things you can often do around the location. Let's say you show up super early and the venue hasn't even opened yet. Then you could just hang around the spot. You could go on your phone, you could chill, you could refine your speech in the car some more. Just know that it begins the day before. The day before, you want to start looking up how long is it going to take me? And then you want to start getting your clothes, everything ready. So the next day, you leave early so you can show up early. This is one of the mental hooks that you definitely need to follow for your speech. Otherwise, you're going to be having a very bad time. It's one of the worst feelings when your speech is awesome, but you're delivering that awesome speech with bags under your eyes, you're sweating, you smell. That's not the way to do it. Show up early. For more insights like this into public speaking, you definitely wanna check out my book, The Speaking Wizard. Within this book, you will get years of public speaking experiences uh, compiled into a book that delivers strategies, tips, and insights for you to improve your upcoming speech 
whether it's at a wedding, whether it's at work, or whether it's at a, uh, a conference for your kids. You know, nowadays they're asking the parents to give speeches at their uh, kid's school. And if you're one of the parents that's stuttering away, your voice gets soft, that's not a good look. Prepare early by checking out The Speaking Wizard. You can grab a copy by scanning this barcode right on here. Scan it, purchase it, or you, if you're watching from your phone, hit one of the links in the description box, the pinned comment, or you can even go on ArmaniTalks.com, hit shop, and grab your copy today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I will catch you next time.